This game helps to make the transition from addition number bonds of 10 to subtracting from 10. Hi, I'm Leanne and I want to share a new game that we have been playing. It's a very easy game to play and a really good game to learn the subtraction facts with 10 as the minuend. We are going to use a deck of UNO cards from 1 to 9. If you've got a regular deck of playing cards, that will do also. You also need 5 small paper squares with 10 written on it. You could play this on a small whiteboard and write those tens at the top of the whiteboard too. You shuffle your deck of cards to form what we call the stockpile and you lay five cards from the stock below each ten like this as the subtrahend. Then distribute four cards to each player. On a player's turn, she checks to see if she has any cards in hand that make the differences. She'll have to first decide what is the differences needed in each column and then check to see if she has that in her hand. Here, the difference between 10 and 6 is 4 and we can use the abacus to see this difference because there are 4 more beads on the top row. So we check our hand of cards to see if we have it and we do so we place the number cards below the subtrahend card. The next one is 3 and the difference between 10 and 3, as we can see here, is 7. Now I don't have a 7 so we move on to the next column. For this one, the difference between 10 and 8 is 2 and I have that card so we can place it here. 10 subtract 4 is 6, I don't have that so let's move on to the last column. The difference between 10 and 9 is 1, so I'll place it here. Very quickly, I just want to let you know that this channel is all about finding fun ways to teach kids skills that they need. So if this is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. And that is the end of my turn. I'll collect both the subtrahend and the differences which make a pair. I'll fill my hand back up to 4 and replace any missing subtrends that I took and then it is the next player's turn to do the same. When all the stock is exhausted, the player with the most cards in their winning pile is the overall winner. At the end of the game, players can check their pairs of cards to discover that these pairs are in fact the same ones that make 10, which is a very similar game to playing IC10. If you want to see how we play that game, you can check it out here or in the show notes below after this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get to try this quick game real soon and I will see you in the next one. Yay!